Hello YouTube land, this is the Comic Book Spirit guest starring on the Comic Book Ninja Show, presenting to you the first in a series called Cool and Interesting Comics, a very broad definition in every sense. First of all, we have Marvel Superheroes number 15 from 1968, a very fine near mint 9.0 copy. This has the distinction of being Marvel's first Silver Age solo female feature on the cover. It has never been done before in the Silver Age. It was all dedicated to Medusa of the Inhumans. It is also very, very difficult to find this comic in excellent condition because of unstable ink on the cover from the printing process, mostly on the purple of the Marvel Superheroes logo. It usually has all kinds of color disc discolorations from flakes and specks, all kinds of staining on the cover, usually around and from the black ink. A lot of time, mostly from other comics lying on top of it, it makes it a very, very difficult comic to find in excellent condition and in a high grade due to this. If you can find one in great shape, I would get one as soon as I can. Next, we have Wonder Woman number 204, which has four separate distinction categories. It marks the first appearance of Nubia, the other Wonder Woman. It also marks the first appearance of Wonder Woman to her original costume and all her original powers back. It also features origin of the Amazons and Wonder Woman and the death of I Ching. This is a very undervalued book soon to go up in my opinion. It's hard to find one even now. This is a near mint 9.4 copy that I was lucky to find. Next we have Captain Autumn number 82 which features the first appearance of Nightshade, Charlton's first female character. All the Charlton characters were originally bought out by DC and that includes Captain Autumn, Blue Beetle, The Questing, and of course Nightshade. Those are really the big four that they have. This is a tough comic and everybody's looking for it now, so get yourself a copy if you can. Next, we have Special War Series number four, which is the first appearance of the Judo Master. This is from 1965. This is a very fine 8.5 copy. You can see very interesting, there's like many martial arts poses on the cover. It also belongs to DC now. So it is very interesting. Judo Master is an overlooked character, and if you can find a copy, go for it. Next is Adventures of the Fly number 9 from way back in 1960. The Archie Comics characters also belong to DC now. It's always cool to have the first appearance of a villain. This is Catgirl, who comes out in other Archie Comics like the Jaguar. If you can get a copy, go for it. This is Fantastic Four number 64 from 1966. This is the first appearance of the Sentry Sinister. It mar also marks the first appearance of anything Cree and the Cree period. So it is a significant overlooked book. This is a very fine near mint 9.0 copy. It's soon to go up in value with all the Cree stuff going on. Next is Fantastic Four Annual Number 4, which features the first appearance of the Golden Age Human Torch and the Silver Age coming back to challenge the Fantastic Four and Johnny Storm in particular. It's very significant that Fantastic Four Annual Number 4 returns the Golden Age Human Torch since the Avengers Number 4 returns Captain America from the Golden Age and Fantastic Four Number 4 returns Submariner to the Silver Age. I really don't know the significance of Number 4, but here it is. Get yourself a copy. This is Mystery in Space, which features the first crossover of the Justice League of America. It is, also has Adam Strange on the cover, and it is a very distinct comic, but it's the first time that they crossed over into any book. You can get a copy. Go for it. This is House of Mystery number 64. It is a very classic science fiction comic and hard to find in any grade. You can look everywhere, and it's really, really difficult to find. There's hardly any CGC copies available. I rarely see this come up at all. It has an excellent grow in a tube cover, classic science fiction. It's one of my favorites and a lot of favorites of science fiction collectors also. Next we have a strange and rare book called It Ain't Me Babe. It is a Wonder Woman cover and she's unauthorized, not supposed to be in there. All the characters in there are unauthorized. It actually features a story in there with Supergirl and Superman. All this is unauthorized but it's still an excellent collectible if you can get a copy. It's fantastic. Next and last is Elite Magazine, November 1968, which features and Linda Carter illustration on the cover of her being totally nude inside. There are some really interesting photos of her 
inside and there's also some really cool posters and pics of Wonder Woman. Yes, she is nude on the inside. It's a very rare book and hard to find. If you can get it, go for it. Well, that concludes it for today.